Hello there, my name is John Bessens and today I'm going to be using Adobe Acrobat 10 Professional to demonstrate to you how we can edit a PDF document. Now, I'm using Acrobat Professional today although you can use Acrobat Standard to perform most of these edits as well. I'll be showing you about 15 different ways how we can use Acrobat successfully to edit content in a PDF because a lot of the time all you've got is a PDF file. So the ability to edit PDF files these days is really crucial. So, if I just open up the Exhibitors Guide here, this is a sample PDF file. As soon as it opens, you'll see straight away how the interface has changed. Going back to previous versions of Acrobat, they had a lot much of a more of a busier appearance in version 10 now. It's a lot cleaner, simplistic, minimalistic. Open, save, print, navigation here, okay. I also, near the top right hand corner, have got an option to go into what we call read mo mode. So in there I can see straight away that it just gives over to the document, okay? So much cleaner, much easier to navigate as well. Close that down, I've got my tools back. In the past, if I want to edit a PDF file, I had to go to say the, the tools menu or the advanced menu uh, and basically circumnavigate between the two. But now in version 10, I've got the tools pane across here. I can see as soon as I open that up, I've got categories of tools like page-based tools. So for example now, page one, if I wanted to actually crop out some content, I could decide that I want to recrop the page, so get rid of the strip on the top. So I just drag that out. Okay, I'm happy with that. Double click, hit OK, and boom, my page is cropped. I could also say take this four page document, so page one, two, three, four. I could take this document now, and I could split it using my split document command, click on that once, decide to split it into say, four documents of one page each, hit OK to that, boom, simple as that. Close pages, content. I can now add a bookmark, attach a file, embed a file inside the PDF document, edit document text. Okay, previously I had to go through about one, two, three options um, to be able to select this. Now, edit document text, move my cursor into the page, select the word opportunities, change that to the word information. Okay, no technical gremlins there, it just works. Navigate now to page 3. I've got some text in the bottom right hand corner. Change that now so I could put in the words green and lush. Parks in our, I'll be a bit cheeky here. Skateboard. And bike friendly. Two lines become three. Text wrap, okay, I've got that happening as well. Really easy to perform. This heading at the top, so I want to reformat that now so it's bigger, different color. Highlight it, right click, properties. Okay, in properties I've got various options, fonts, I could change the font, size, I'll go bigger, 48 point, word spacing, make it tall and thin, make it short and fat. It's a really clever way I can do that just by drop downs. Fill, change the color to orange, fill, change the color to a navy blue hit close to that, just works. I can also add new text to the document, hold down the Alt key, click, new text, hit OK, overtype, this is new text. Highlight it, once again, right click, properties, change things like the font, I'll make that maybe 45 points. Problem is now that it's gone off the page, now I can use the edit object tool, I can bring that back into play, I can see my text here now, I can move that around, I can do the same with the heading, just maybe nudge that a bit with my left arrow key on my keyboard, select this text here, draw a marquee around it, drag that to the right. So I could take this image, I could scale it down, okay, I can do that, scale it down, I could take the image, I could copy it, I could paste it, okay, so I could do copy and paste, re-highlight them, copy, and then I can paste. So you can see here that it's really easy to take content and duplicate it, copy, paste it, cut it. I could take this image, I could copy that, I could go to page two, I could paste it. So now I've got the image that was on page three on page two. Subtle other things I can do as well. Maybe I wanted to take this particular image here and maybe I want to just uh, slightly uh, crop it, okay, so maybe I want to get rid of some of the images here. As opposed to before I crop the page, now I crop the image, so I'll just right click, 
I'll say set clip I'll go to a corner handle I'll just drag that down I'll let go and then you can see here that I physically cropped it down from where it was previously so really clever intuitive way that I can move objects around scale them rotate them clip them as well maybe on page one I actually want to bring in a new logo so I'll just do a, a right click place image go find my image type maybe I want to go and bring in a JPEG a GIF a ping file a TIFF I'll select ping logo hit open to that that comes in and boom and once again this one might need to be cropped so I'll just go in here and say set clip come down just crop that there and just come down and just crop that upwards so now I've actually cropped out the white space top and bottom so a really clever way that I can do that just using sort of permutations there of the edit object tool turn the color from color to black and white once again right click this time properties just move across to the color tab choose say gray in the drop down hit convert color hit close I convert the color. I can also do things on a page base basis. Click on the pages panel. I can move pages around here, change their order, click on a page, hit delete, delete it out. I take another document, drag it into the pages panel here, let go. Three pages become 15. So that's a short example of some of the edits I can perform now in Adobe Acrobat 10 Professional. Much easier than previous versions easy to access tools inside the tools pane so I think you'll agree that it's a much improved version it's much cleaner it's smarter and it is generally much easier to use thank you very much for your time